So let's uh, take a look at this on some other straps to uh, get an idea what it would look like on um, metal or maybe some other leathers and some definitely some NATOs. <laughs> In case you were curious, this is what it looks like off the blend strap. This is the, uh, the blend portion of the strap, I should say. You can see the suede lining. Uh, this is what it looks like on its uh, regular strap without the blend. Let's change it up. I did happen to have a 21 millimeter Milanese on hand. Uh, I would use it with my uh, El Primero Chronomaster, which is a um, 21. But on the Milanese, this actually looks quite uh, striking. Not a bad strap for it either. Let's look at it on uh, something else. Here it is on a brown leather strap. Actually, this is from my IWC, but uh, brown leather works on it as well. Um, I would probably go with a black leather, but it does look sharp. Pretty much anything. Let's uh, try it on a rubber strap. Here it is on a black rubber strap. Um, it's actually a 21 millimeter lug width, but uh, you'd be surprised what you can get away with with sport straps in the 20 millimeter uh, category. Let's look at it on some uh, NATO straps. Um, I don't have any 21 millimeter NATOs, but a 22 fits because it's cloth and so that one millimeter gives, it works. Um, on a dark blue, it doesn't look that spectacular, but yeah, functional. Let's try it on a different color. Uh, here it is on a black NATO. It really uh, does look sharp and tooly, uh, very field on a NATO. I think it looks good. Let's try it in a different uh, color. On a Bond NATO, it looks sharp. I think it works well. What are your thoughts? Let's uh, put it on the uh, tactical band and close out. <laughs> now it really looks properly military on the uh, tactical strap. And uh, in this configuration, ready to go anywhere. <laughs>